Hi, good evening, everyone. Today we will go ahead and take JNU 2012, question number two. Let's have a look at it. If radius of a circle is increased by 20%, then its area is increased by. Very easy question. So area of circle is given by pi r square. Now it says that radius is increased by 20%. So r pi, r dash, it is initial r plus it is increased by 20%. So 20% of r. So r, 1 plus 20 by 100. So r, 1.2. Right? So what will be your new area? Your new area is going to be pi r dash square. So it is going to be pi. The new r that you have is initial r into 1.2. So it is going to be 1.2 r whole square. So this is going to be pi 1.44 into r square. So this is going to be 1.44 pi r square. This will be your new area. Now the question is asking in terms of percentage. Now, So you have to answer in terms of percentage. So it says its area is increased by. So now change in area will be new area minus old area upon old area into 100. So this is going to be 0 0.44. Achha, there is one more thing that you have to understand. This is asking in terms of the area is increased by in terms of percentage. So I have to give the answer in terms of percentage only. You cannot stop here. Ye, ye galat ho chaga, right? Okay. So 0 0.44 pi r square upon pi r square into 100. So this is going to be 44%. So the area is going to go ahead and increase by 44%. This is the answer to this question. Now, I'm going to give you another question similar way. Just try to do this yourself. So for example, let's say that the question is very similar, but now they have said that if length and breadth, either they say length and breadth or they go ahead and say that the, so uh, actually it should be uh, length and breadth only, but supposedly they go ahead and use the, the term the two radius of the ellipse are doubled. Then the percentage change in area would be, everybody please understand this thing. huh? So when I talk about ellipse, then uh, actually, um, you can pronounce this as eclipse also. So when I talk about this, then um, in eclipse, when we talk about it, you have to understand that uh, eclipse has a bigger and a smaller length, right? It has uh, one thing which is uh, uh, going to be like this. This can be your eclipse. Or your eclipse can be like this. So when I go ahead and I talk about the area of my eclipse, then in that case, the you have to find this out. I will not talk about what area of eclipse is. 
very similar to circle but the only thing that changes is that now you have so so this is the center of my e ellipse or eclipse and uh, this is a or this is this is the center so i have a smaller r smaller radius and a bigger radius or a, sm a smaller radius here and a bigger radius here so you can you can call this as A and B respectively, or you can call this as R1 and R2 respectively. There are two R's, right? One is the smaller radius that you have, and one is the larger radius that you have, right? There are two R's that you have. So R1, R2, R1, R2. I'm telling you that both of them are doubling themselves. If both of them double themselves, then how do you go ahead and how do you justify what is going to be the change in your percentage change in the area? That is what you have to tell me. Now, when it comes to exam, this is not it. In exam, sometimes they will tell you that there is increase in the radius, but they will ask you percentage change in circumference. So you should know that. Or they will ask you percentage change in perimeter. So, so my point here is that don't think that these are class 11, 12 concept or 10th, 9th concept and they will not come in exam. You have to understand the, uh, you have to know the formula for perimeter of each of the shape. You have to know the formula of circumference in this case, in case of circle. And then you have to try and think, okay, if one of the parameters change, how is my answer going to change? Okay. All right. Thank you.